This is the very first pyramid. But so you got a little beach back in here. So that's the most important. You don't need a massage anymore. And look at this. You have a little lake in here. Oh my God, this is incredible. Route recalculating. Turn right at the second road onto Coolidge Road. So if you want to know where we're staying, we are staying in ancient Egypt, ladies and gentlemen, in ancient Egypt. The destination is ahead. Wow, look at that. Guys, I will tell you what. I've stayed at some interesting places throughout the years. You have arrived at your destination. But this has to be the most interesting. <laughs> Spirits of ancient Egypt. Hi, Gertie. What's going on? How are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, oh, look at this. Such a lovely lady. How cool this place is. I've never seen anything like it. You know, Terry, we are so happy that we can stay here, that we can work here. Everyone loves to work here. You know what, guys? It's close to everything, yet it's kind of tucked back in here, and it's really quiet back here. Even the neighbors don't know us. That's a good sign. It's a hidden gem. <laughs> What do we got? This is for you. Oh. Just to get a little bit information how it started and that you can read a little bit. Okay. No okay. We're it's reading. Got, it's good. Here we got our history book, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And so here is the main entrance of the village. And this one was the first pyramid which was built. This is the very first pyramid. But so you got a little beach back in here. <laughs> It's like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> this walkway uh, is bright lightened in the night. You will see it this night. You can walk there. You, some people jog there. And it's so good because they can use it early in the morning, late in the evening, whenever they want to use it. And look at this. You have a little lake in here. This is a warm mineral water lake. So wait a second, people can swim in this? Yes, absolutely. So this is like a pool? It is, but no can you. Oh my god, this is incredible. Year-round warm water. This is beautiful. This is like an oasis here. It really is. This is our gold tulip. So, and what's great is, if what I'm seeing, this is poured, poured cement here. This is a, like a slab that it's on, so it's not like muddy, mucky bottom. It's a concrete shell. Wow. The concrete guy told me it is as strong as the bridge from Fort Myers to Cape Cod. My goodness. What do, you, what do you call this body of water here? It is a warm mineral water lake. Wow. If you say pool, it is wrong because pool has to get so much chlorine in it. We clean it with the quartz stones. Ah. You see the quartz stones? They are so it's like a gravel deep filter. Deep like this. Yeah. And this goes from the center to outside and is moving mm. always in this way. So it's almost like a fish tank, correct? Yes, what a smart idea. That is absolutely. great. How's the water? Do you ever go in there? Yeah, yeah every morning, every evening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well you have this sun back here yeah. that's reflecting yeah. off of it and it just warms everything up. It's almost like a solarium back yes. in here. Yeah. You see this one here? What well, do you got? Music in there? Speakers? No. Okay. And copper and magnesium together. Copper and magnesium. They through like positive negative charges and it leaves the dirt behind. Right. Wow, you see that? Yeah, I remember I learned something in school. I paid attention. You see that? A what? Homeopathic doctor. Oh, really? You're a doctor? Yeah. Oh, Dr. Gertie, yes. ladies and gentlemen. So, you lay down. You okay. Just take your towel, nothing else. Right. Good. It's Good. So and now lay down. Yeah, stretchable. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Breathe out. The most important is breathe out. Yeah, that's good. And after a while, the spine 
starts stretching. So that's the most important. You don't need a massage anymore. Good night, ladies. And yeah. Ladies. <laughs> I found the Cook Austrian food. And really, a big feast yes. right here, yes. right at these tables. Yes. And use our barbecue bar. This is so lovely back here. Look at this. Oh, it's like if a pyramid is, shelter. Yeah, Look at that. If it is raining or if it is very hot. Yeah. You thought of everything, Gertie. Such a nice lady. She is going to escort us to our pyramid in her golf cart. This is our humble abode. This is so cool. It even has a little barbecue grill out here. Yes, yes, yes. So, wow. come into your new home. <laughs> wow! It doesn't look so big from This is incredible. As it is from the inside. Upstairs, look at that. Guys, I will tell you, this is really an interesting concept and so spacious and cozy and interesting at the same time. Look at this. Shaped like a pyramid, European styling in the kitchen, open air, it's so nice and cool in here. So, so let, me, let me just show you around, starting with the outside. So, like I said, you got pyramids here. Statues that give it that old world feel. And I mean, look at the structure, how cool that is. It's kind of a mirrored glass. You have two entryways into the same unit. Now look at this. Winding staircase. I look at it up here. It's a living room. I like Mary Tyler Moore. Nice work area here, so I'll have the computer going to uh, upload my video from today. Big screen TV over here. And here's the view from above. Hello down there. I'll tell you one thing. I know where I'm staying when I come into town. I can't wait to bring Davy here. She's gonna love this place. You got everything you need here, look, including champagne flutes, wine glasses, dishes. Wow, look at all this cutlery. TV here, I think you got TV in every room. Yep. And then the outside. Lovely little patio out here that you can chill and that's their acreage that they have back in there that I'm gonna go walk tomorrow morning. One in Fort Myers, stay in a pyramid. I really think there is something to that whole um, positive energy that you get from the pyramid shape. Just what the doctor ordered. <sighs> I tell you guys what, I could get used to this. But there's something so pleasing to the eye too about the angles 
of these structures. I see a stake in my future. Cheers. Onward and upward. I tell you guys, it was a rough day today, you know, driving around and taking it all in. This never tasted or felt so good. And neither did this. It's a little chilly tonight guys but it feels great it's probably 68 degrees and zero humidity is zero clouds but nonetheless a beautiful memorable florida evening I'm watching our favorite YouTuber. Bars over here, tiki bars. None of this stuff was here when I first moved here. Uh, where we lived for a while. Good morning, guys. Rise and shine. You can see, shine is the operative word. Sun is out again. Today looks to be another beautiful day here in Southwest Florida. I really enjoyed my stay here at the Pyramids and want to thank Gertie and the staff. This is, uh, this is where I slept last night in this bedroom and I, I got a really comfortable sleep. So lots of energy, ready to get out there and tackle the day. Here is the entrance to the 10 acres that Gertie was telling us about. I'm not gonna go back in there now because I'm wearing sandals right now. But it's a dog park here. And I wanted to show you this, this angle of the hotel rooms themselves, the structures that are almost ancient and futuristic at the same time. Very, very cool design, really interesting. 
it's both novel and entertaining and um, relaxing and enjoyable and certainly accommodating. Third one in is the one that I was staying at and you can see the blue iguana there. It's a bright blue sky, zero clouds. And how cool is it to see the moon behind this pyramid? Morning. It's a little brisk today, guys, this morning. When I woke up, it was in the low 50s, so. There she is. Bright and early. Good morning, we got a beautiful day. Take the volleyball very seriously. Right. We have to to sweep the sand, to oh, rake the sand. Oh, you gotta like the beachcombers. Every week, <laughs> to break, yes. yeah, to because keep because they want to make sure that there are no small rocks in it. Like oh here. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see here, we do not. We our laundry is washed different. We do not take um, detergents chemical. Okay. We use original good detergent so that we can have it naturally and then we hang up like in former times really? we hang up all laundry oh yeah look at that the line so that the people have fresh laundry and that's for me the most important that's about as fresh as it gets with the air yes getting to it look at this yes. you have like a, a what is this like a closet or something yeah. whatever you have yes, for we do it here we have the big washers in it we do Even this is shaped like a pyramid <laughs> well the yoga house this is our it was our best decision mm -hmm. it was made by the seminoles and they did it with five guys father was uh, father was sons and it was made perfect because we wanted to have it in the way it was before and the wood they took off the skin here on place mm -hmm. from the woods okay. and then they set the wood. oh they used the wood right from here locally right from here locally from the woods oh, yes. wow. and then they skinned up and then they put it on. It was good to watch this family. It was a great experience. This is a construction. Oh yeah, look at this. It is such a good, good. It's like a giant feeling. umbrella. Yes, it is. It's a good feeling to be underneath. So here are the stones that uh, Gertie was telling me about. It is called Kneip, Dr. Kneip, 1818. He made it so that you can diagnose your own organs just with your feet, with your bare foot. So you take your shoes off, you walk like my name, barefoot, and you walk barefoot on these stones. Right, and, uh, and you get every organ told um. which organ you are walking. I'm going to have so to try that. She has to take a business phone call, so I'm going to let her do her thing. But in the meantime, and guys, it's cold. I purposely wore the sandals so that I could try this. And I'm going to take them off now and uh, bear the brunt of cold rocks on my feet. No, I don't know if I'm supposed to start here and end there or start there and end here. I think it's here because it's closer to the entrance. So here goes nothing. Wish my bare feet luck. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, oh, this is gonna probably be. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Okay, after those stones, this pea gravel is like heaven. Torture incoming. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah, the river rock. Broken oh, chills. Oh, tree bark, my salvation. Just hope there's no hot coals. Give me my better nails so we can relax. The cat litter box. Oh. oh, this is my favorite. Maybe because it's the last one. Dead. I did it, Gertie. I did the whole thing. I hope I did it correctly. No, you didn't. Oh, no! Start <laughs> in the wood just to get rooted. The first field is the quark sand. So you're supposed to start here. Yes. I started at the end. The next field are the kidneys. So, like this. 
parallel. You put one foot forward and then the one right up yes, to it. Yes, and you wait. Always wait a little bit. I see. It helps. It's getting the pressure points, right? Right. And don't run. Don't no worry, I'm not running on this. And you stop out on a rubber bed. You never walk in one row. Okay. This one is the most difficult field, blood vessels. Okay. Veins, arterias, and it is difficult to walk because yeah. it's lava stone. It's a little more painful. The oh. Wait a little bit. Broken glass, anyone? <laughs> oh, get back in there, will you? So this is easier because the rocks are flat. Uh, it's not easy for her to say. <laughs> no, it is not difficult. Not a fan of the lava. And then you jump out. Crawling's more like it. <laughs> now you have the feeling your feet walk down. It's working like this. We yeah. love this field. This is one of my favorites, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Anyone have a pillow? Wait a little bit. Stay there. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Any pearls in there? This is actually my personal favorite. The gallbladder. Kind of looks like a gallbladder, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> yeah, here's to the gallbladder and my so, cholesterol. <sighs> You're kind of like sweeping it across it, sort of. Yeah, very I good. gotcha. Very good. Oh, that feels good. nice. I like the color. Yeah, this one's tough. Show the people the right parallel, and you breathe out. Good. I'm breathing, baby. I'm breathing. Oh, wow. Good. Okay, last Good. one. Last step. <sighs> the next is the lymph system. In my medical study, one colleague asked the professor, where do we see the lymph system? And he said, well, it is everywhere. <laughs> <Now, laughs> kind of like barefoot. So and if the lymph system is working good, you don't get sick because the lymph system helps rid of virus, bacteria, parasite, even fungus. The fungus won't be among us anymore. <laughs> this is the lab. Okay. If you are a smoker, it would be gray. The flat. occasional cigar count? Nope. Very good, nope. very good, very good. One more and then the rubber bed. What is left in our body now? The colon. I had my colonoscopy, I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, colon. Good. And breathe out. Good. One more. Good. Yay. Thank you. You did it great. You made it. In other words, this is the finish line. Yeah. Here we go. Give me some sand, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Good. Oh, it's so powdery and wonderful, just like the Gulf Coast beaches. Yeah. I love good. it. Move those toes, baby. <laughs> it's like, it's like nature's <laughs> carpet. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a big hand. Super, you did it good. Pyramid Oasis, just for us. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. The sun coming up here over the gulf with these pyramids stacked here on this beautiful body of water. I'll have links in the description. Give Gertie a call. I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. Till next time, from the Pyramid Village here in Fort Myers, this is the Barefoot Blogger saying, stay well, stay tuned, stay healthy.